welcome back to part four of Beyond the Ski On. And if I could just remind you about my med pack issue, it's told me I've used two. I've only used one. I used a small one in the last level. So if we get along, come round the corner, we get an update, and also we can see this gate. So I'll go to the update in the diary. Uh, location Bolivia, northeast of Chive. Inventory Ski on Piece 1. No negotiate water channels. Find path to cross border to Peru. Secrets in this level zero. So, yet again, no secrets. So, we see the gate that was in front of us. If we come back to where we were standing, the jump switch is right there where we started. So, just jump up and grab alright then so this level is very difficult to do without using a med pack I'm gonna use as few med packs as possible during this entire game but this level it is possible to not use a med pack but it's difficult so firstly at this trap the best way I found to do this uh, I watched someone else do it. So, if you squat down, press the sprint button, she does a roll past the blade. And at the next corner here, there's a boulder above. You can see there's a spike trap at the ceiling and on the ground. So, I'm going to save just here, just in case. Okay, so sprint through, and when you get to the spikes in the centre, on the ground, you want to do a roll, and that minimises the amount of damage you take. So... Uh, okay. That's pretty good. Oops. Okay, so I'm in the water, may as well pull the lever. You see the gate there? The lever to open that gate is in the water. It's just around this corner. And in the corner, you see the body here. If we pull this guy out of the way, he sat on a revolver. I don't understand why there's so many revolvers to pick up, because the first one is... Uh, you need to pick that up. So I don't understand why it keeps giving you options to pick it up. But anyway, it still counts as ammo. And this room, you see the, uh, the different coloured block on the floor, the tile on the floor. We need to move that block onto it. So... Takes a while. that lowers those blocks in the centre and we need to pull this block that's been left here in the centre across both those two tiles and what that does is raises uh, a block in front so that we can get up to the next level Okay, so here we go. We can get up to the top now. Oh, climb. And we need to get through the gate here, and the jump switch is right next to it. But full damage will be taken. I'm trying to line myself up. I don't want to have to miss and do it again. 
Okay, it's not a lot of damage, but it still adds up, if you know what I mean. Okay, so just climb back up. And through here, when you get to the right, on the right hand side, there are three panthers. They're a bit insane. They have... They don't seem to respond to nothing being there. They have their own animation that they follow. They just attack thin air. They always go through that door. They don't seem to be doing it today, though. here. There's some uh, revolver ammo in this little cubby. So just grab that. Slowly come back out. And now if we head to where the panthers came from, there is a small med pack in this shrub just here. And now... <gasps> kayaking! Yes! <laughs> but first, jump across. Over in this little gap, there is a small med pack. And now you can only get in the kayak from one side. I think it's this side, I always forget. Yeah, it's this side. So you see the spikes on the ground. You want to go quickly down here because there's spikes on the ground here and also there's a gate that closes. And you can take damage if that gate closes on you. It's weird. So to get out of the canoe you press the jump button and the side right button. And let me show you there's a gate here but we need a key for that, and the only thing behind the gate is to uh, the lever to open the door, this gate. So that didn't come out very well. The only thing behind that gate there is a lever to open that gate there. So, we need to go find the key. So very slowly waddle over to this corner. Climb out and fall back in again. So follow the passage round. And then take a left. There's actually nothing in this room here. But up on this block, there's oozies. Or I actually like to call them wheezies. Don't know why. But there you go. Wheezies. We come directly here, on both sides of this block there's a little gap, and they both contain wheezy ammo. <laughs> so grab that one, and jump around. So just hop out and run into the next room. You can see down below there is a gate, and that's where the key is. So we need to open that gate first. So come straight across to the ladder. Spikes there. So as soon as they come out, 
want to press jump and then the back button so she jumps backwards into a space. Oh, quick. Okay, super. So next just stand on this block and it will lower down. So when we're low enough, I always wait for the block to stop moving. Just in case. So here's that jump switch. The jump switch here is what will open the gate below us. And she never splashes there. I don't know why, but it's always so confusing. So here we go. Grab the key. way back to the kayak here on the right hand side here we go and then just waddle along through the water okay so just Use the gate key. Righty dokey. So now, this next bit could determine whether you need to use a health pack before the end of the level. Can't get in from this side. Let me in. Let me in the boat. The reason I've parked over here is because it's very difficult to turn around. So let me just do a U-turn. And I'm actually going to save the game. If this goes badly, then I will reload. You need to get out of the water, but don't spend too long in the water, because there are piranhas. And also there are gunmen that can take a lot of health from you. So just backwards and forwards. He seems to be doing quite a number on me today. be the best way of doing it. Oh, you don't want her to lock onto him. Otherwise, he's in range to actually shoot Lara. Uh, okay, I got him. Hmm. Took a bit too much health off me there. Okay, there's also another guy over on the ledge by the tree there, but he's difficult to coax out. Sometimes he just stands there, sometimes he takes his time. Oh, 
Come on, then. You know, I bet he's stuck. Stupid bloke. Okay, I got him. Oh, finally. Oh, wrong way. So, basically, we need to bring the kayak through the gate, but we need to open the gate. So, very long-winded way of doing this. Wade through the water. So, just climb up at the end. And there's a lot of slope here, so uh, stick to the left and you won't slide down into the water. And in this corner, there's a very well hidden switch. So, that is what opens the gates. So just pull that. And on the other side of the river, there is a large med pack. So just come over to the corner here and jump back. Be careful because there's uh, a slope that will just push you forward. Okay, now just return to the kayak and we can go through the gate. Oh, so annoying. So I'm sure you've noticed the Uzi ammo here, and also by the door where we entered, there is a large med pack. So quickly get that. And hop back into the kayak. It takes ages to get in this stupid thing as well. Oh, Lara Croft. So just uh, follow it round, mind the corners. So once you're in the kayak, you move pretty quick, which is very good if you're as impatient as I am. So jump out just here, because you can see on the left uh, there are some more Uzi ammo. And the Uzi is are very important at the end of this level. You'll see why. There we go, so just grab those. And hop back in. take some full damage here. It's weird, I don't always take damage. Okay, I didn't that time, but sometimes I do, and I don't understand the logic. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't understand how to not take damage. Like, is there a way to not, I don't know, not to do? <laughs> so the end here, you can see the blades. And they're very easy to get through, actually. Just ease your way, and... There we go. So we want to get out again here, because there are more pickups in here. There's two small med packs in this area. So one right here. And 
come around the corner into the end, there's another one. And when you come around the corner here in the kayak, you do not want to lose any speed. Let me show you. There we go. You can see on the ground there's some spikes and there's another corner that goes to the left. You want to go around that corner as smoothly as possible, otherwise you will get stuck and just hover over the spikes and die. So they uh, take health off you very quickly if you stay over them. So anyway, return to the kayak. And I always dread this bit because I always die. Can't see what my health is like inside the kayak. So just uh, go left. Oh no! Oh, I don't have enough health to finish the level. All right, I'm back. So I've just picked up those two small med packs, and now I'm gonna try that spike bit again. So yes, that was good. Oh, much better this time around. So, oh, you have to... Oh, here we go. You can't get out the canoe if you're too close to a wall. So you sometimes have to do a lot of manoeuvring. Uh, there's a gate here, and the switch is right there. And you don't need the canoe for this bit, but it is much faster than waddling around in the water. So once the gate closes, you can't, because it closes behind you, so when it closes you can't come back and get it. You only need it to go around two corners. <laughs> right here. Okay. And this bit is very long-winded, so I do apologise, but the only way to not take damage is to just keep jumping. Yes, yeah, sorry. I don't want to use a health pack. So I just keep doing this for a while. I hope he's nearly dead by this point. Sorry about that, but that's the way it has to be done. So, now we can just get out of the water. Ideal place to save. Ideal save to place is what I was about to say. And you can see over there, there are spikes coming out of that wall. And we do need to shimmy across that wall, but I have no idea what gets rid of the spikes. Because by the time you get round to there, they're not there. So I don't know how to do that, but it's fine. It turns out to be fine. So you can also see just in the far corner. There is a mercenary there, so we'll have to take care of him at some point. Whoop. Right, let's jump in. You can see on the left hand side here there's a platform we need to raise. And here on the left there is a door, and above the waterfall, you can't actually see it, there's a key. We need to get the key. Firstly, the, that door we need to open, and the lever is just on the other side here, right here. And 
and that passage takes us all the way up to the rock that's in the centre of the uh, water river. What do you want to call it? Reservoir? Could be a reservoir. Lake? Yeah. So if we make our way up to the top. There is a shortcut which I will show you. I will be taking the shortcut a lot because this is long-winded and you can get stuck very easily. It's quite frustrating. And there are spikes that seemingly suck you into them. Which is even more frustrating. So just follow it around and make your way up to the top. So just follow it round. Right at the very end, there is a switch that will lower the, or higher maybe, the platform. Here it is. And that will allow us to climb up and go get the key. But firstly, I'm going to jump over to the rock and shoot this bird, because it will just harass. It won't leave you in oh. Okay, and also while we're up here, we're going to try and get this mercenary. Sometimes he shoots you, sometimes he doesn't realise he's being shot at. But he's wandering around a lot, so I think he might actually shoot Lara back. Oh, I don't think he's noticed yet. Awesome, okay. And now to get the key. The quickest easiest. You can just jump into the water, but I like to hang off the side. Oh, are you kidding? I took damage! Oh no... Well, that's never happened before. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna cheat and reload. Right, so I've just killed that parrot and the mercenary, and I think the parrot might have taken a little bit of health off. I'm not too sure. But that's fine, we can still do this. Now to get down safely. I don't want to have to take damage again. Can't even believe I did take damage. Is this fine? Is this okay? Good. Right. So there's that platform right there. You would just get onto the platform, onto the shelf in front of Lara, and then onto this block. So jump up there. Okay, and then do a running jump and swing round into the waterfall. Sometimes you take damage, sometimes you don't. So let's see. It didn't. Good. Very good. Right, so there's the key. And the keyhole for that is right up the top again. So I'll show you the shortcut to the top of the rock this time. So onto the platform, onto the ledge, onto the block. And now jump to this sloping platform here, but turn in the air, jump and grab. Okay. So run and jump to that get there. And all the way along. So here it is, in the corner. This 
next bit can be tricky because there is a ladder with spikes at the bottom of it. Oh, the joys. But just jump to the gap and grab. And you can see on the left hand side, well, you can't now, she's got her footing. On the left, there are three tiles. You can see them now. Three tiles with pictures. You want to be about where the lower two meet, about here, and then just jump backwards. You can be a little bit lower, but I like to play safe. Play it safe. So I didn't show you there. See the door on the other side? That's what that jump switch does. So now just to make your way back. The easiest way, get up against the wall, two step forwards, and jump and grab. Super duper. And when you get to the top, she won't shimmy round to the left because there is a wall in the way. So climb up and flip back, and grab that ledge, and then just shimmy across when she finishes swinging her legs. Awesome. Okay. So now we just need to get round to the bottom. So the door is over in this direction. Oops. So many walls. So jump onto the platform here and then just do a running jump onto that ledge. And this here is a spike trap tool. It gets rid of well, just one spike trap that we need to go by. Whoops. I meant to jump onto that. So, before we go and use the spike trap tool, there are just a few pickups. So, jump to the monkey bar here, follow it along. Along. And I haven't shown you yet, when you're on a monkey bar and you press the roll button, she will turn all the way around, which is quite cool. It's very handy, but I don't think we get to use it very much, really. Unfortunate. So follow the monkey bars into this gap. And there are two lots of wheezy ammo. And some flares. and then just hop back into the water. Now we're going to head all the way back up to the top of the rock. There's a lot of doing and throwing in this level. It's not one of my favourites because of that reason. Because levels like that make me think I'm going wrong. Like, I've, oh, I'm back here. Am I supposed to be here? Very much like the, uh, the Aldwych, Aldwych level. I can't speak today. Old Witch in Tomb Raider 3. You constantly go back to that one particular room and it's very confusing. Alright. So we're going to head back to where we uh, used the key in the gate. But this time we're going to turn to the right. The right hand side. Now down below where that mercenary was, we shot him from on well, we, I say we, Lara, shot him, which is over there, and there's a gate, and also we need to raise a platform to get onto that area. So there's two jump switches we need to get to, and one of them takes damage. So here's where we use the spike trap tool. You can see on top, if Lara would stand on that now, spikes will come up and impale her in the bum. So get rid of them. There we go. I think I'm going to do the more dangerous one first. So there's the jump switch, and to get down there, a lot of fall damage will be taken. So you jump onto the slope there and jump 
into a gap that you can barely see in the rock. So I'm actually going to save. I don't know why I like to save here, but I just do. I can't remember whether you need to do a running jump or just jump. I'm going to try and jump. I can't remember. Here we go. That's a fair bit of damage I've taken there. And then just run and jump to the lever. Oh, don't go into that gap in the corner. This gap is actually the end of the level. But if you go near the door, spikes will happen. Oh, and now we've shot the mercenary. There are some oozy clips here. We can pick them up now. The mercenary will just shoot at you. Oh, there we go. That one raised that platform. So now we need to open the door and go all the way back up. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? It is clever, though. It is a very clever TRLE. As much as I like to pick faults with things. Oh, I forgot about this small map pack here under the platform that we raised. The first platform. So just climb back up to the top. So now if we come to the corner, you can't grab the ledge here because it's at too much of an angle. So if you line yourself up with the closest point of that ledge there, that'll about do it. And then just do a running jump. So there's a small med pack here. Oozy clips. And then just try and hop into this corner. Okay, and the next jump switch is right here. Okie dokie. So just swim out to the, the platform. Oh, I am so cold. My heating is on before anyone I know watches this and starts whinging about me not having my heating on. Right, as soon as you step in here, there are panthers, and you can't really see very well because you get a nice angle of the door. So when you see the statistics in the left corner, I hop back off the shelf. Oh, there's one. Well, too soon. Here it is anyway. So it's easier just to get them from not on the ledge, because they can't get you. And they do take a good swipe, good chunk off your life. So wait for the... There we go. There's one. There are two of them. I didn't think to point that out. this bit round. I always forget where this bit's going to take me. I think it leads to the main room and it doesn't. So anyway, we get to a T-junction here. On the left you see a boulder. So just slide. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Oh, you need to get away from that ledge otherwise the boulder will somehow hit Lara even if you're on the ledge. The easiest way, yes, is to slide and jump into here. But I'm not very good. So if we come to where the boulder was, there is a large med pack. And then come back this way. And there is seemingly a dead end. But wait! A jump switch! So, line yourself up. Not very easy. Right. And 
and this bit is where those spikes were. They're not there anymore. I don't fully understand why they were there to start with, but never mind. Alright, this is a running jump area, so jump and veer and shimmy around. Oh, I forget there's no shimmy faster button. Oh. So when you do get to the end, it looks like you've got a dead end, full of dead ends. Just climb up and then flip backwards. And there is a ladder. <coughs> the good old leap of faith routine. And just follow this bit round. And this bit can be difficult. So you need to run and jump to that ledge that's sticking out of the wall, and that's a slope, so do not climb over it. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. So you can't see now I'm on the slope, but there is a gap in the wall that you need to jump to. So come all the way to the edge, and then take one shimmy across. Because if you're too far to the right, then you don't curve enough into that gap, and if you're too far left, right next to the wall, she hasn't got room to curve. So climb up, jump and curve. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, so to the end, one along. There we go. So there's a lever here and that opens the door right there. And the main thing we want in this room is under that slab. And to raise the slab you simply pull the switch that's above Lara there. So pull this block out. jump up and pull the switch. Right, so that is the sun disk and that goes on top of the big rock. So you can see in front, the door we came through is closed, but when we pick this up, this door here opens. And you can instantly see all the spikes, all the danger. Firstly, on the right hand side though, there is a small med pack. And the spikes here don't actually activate until you pull the switch. And there was one occasion where I didn't take damage here, but usually I take damage. There's only been the once. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try and save, see if I can minimize my damage. Right, so when you turn around, you do not want to jump and turn because you will jump into the spikes. So just roll on the ground and sprint, and I always try and roll, at, like press the jump button while sprinting as soon as I can. Oh, what? Well, I can't believe I survived. I went very wrong. Right, <laughs> let's try again. Well, it didn't work, but we've still got enough health. So that switch opened the door so we can leave. So now we just need to go all the way back up to the top of the rock. I actually think it's called Mushroom Rock. 
looks a bit like a mushroom. So all the way back up. Okie dokie. Here we go. You can only put the sun disc here in a certain spot. I can't remember if it's this one or round to the right hand side. I'll try this one. I'm going to save. I'm, I'm also going to select my Uzis so I've got them ready. is now open. You want to jump back and select your weapons as soon as you can. There are men with guns. Whoa. I'm gonna die. Just keep moving. I'm sure there's more people than there usually is. I thought there were only three people up here. There seems to be about four or five. Come on, where are they? I thought they were. I think I was wrong. Anyway, they're dealt with and they drop things. There's two pickups of shotgun shells and I've always thought there was a small med pack but the past few times I practiced there has not been a small med pack up here. I mean it could be in the bushes and I'm just not looking very well. So there might be a small mid pack, there might not be. It doesn't seem as though there is, so I'm going to assume that maybe I was seeing things <laughs> when I first played. So I am barely alive, and now I'm going to end the level. swim over into the corner and if you follow the passage you will get taken to the next level. Anyway, thank you for watching part 4 of Beyond the Ski On and I hope you join me next time. See you soon.